and today in collaboration with the jury I'm gonna kind of give you a glimpse into my morning routine and kind of like my everyday work routine so I hope you enjoy. My morning usually starts one of two very contrasting ways. I either head out for a run first thing. Starting the day with exercise for me is really energizing. It helps me so much with my motivation and my productivity. However, if that doesn't happen, I do tend to lie in bed fighting with my snooze button. Um, as winter gets closer, the latter is definitely becoming more and more frequent. Once I've finally got myself out of bed, I love to start with a ritual of making myself a matcha latte along with my breakfast. I'm not a huge breakfast person, so I usually have something quite simple like avocado and egg on toast. I'm much more of a lunch person, so I keep it quite small. Mm, delicious. So I use breakfast time as a time to also write a list for the day. I live for a physical list. It's the only way I can keep myself organised and basically function. Otherwise, I would just forget everything and I wouldn't get anything done. Um, so I always create lists in my bullet journal. Um, I also love the actual physical act of crossing off something on a list because it feels very um, final and it also feels like I'm getting that kind of out of my brain as well. Um, so this today's main job is to edit a vlog. So all of my vlog editing is done in my studio space. So during the pandemic I realised that I don't work very well from home at all. So in the summer I joined a co-working space and it's been brilliant. Um, so I do basically all of my editing there, all my admin emails, it's basically any computer stuff I need to do, I do it in my studio space. So you'll see that later on this afternoon. But before I head to the studio, I've just got a few errands to run. Um, and of course, I need to get ready. My everyday jewellery always consists of easy to wear pieces that create a subtle statement and a complementary of all outfits. Uh, the delicate chain is definitely a firm favourite and the bold signet ring I personally feel is a real timeless statement piece that's really great to wear on casual outfit days. So one of the first jobs, or one of the first errands, should we say, on my list before I head into the studio to start working is to go to the tailor. I've got four pairs of trousers that have been sat in my wardrobe for far too long, they don't fit me properly and they need tailoring. I love going to the tailor because often, because I'm vertically challenged, should we say, trousers especially don't fit me very well. Um, so it's always lovely to finally have something that fits me perfectly. So yeah, four pairs of trousers, let's go. Okay, that is the tailor done. I also had to do some other really dull jobs like go to the bank and the post office, things that just aren't really vlog worthy. Next on my list for the day is I have a Zoom catch up call with my manager. So that is just kind of like a general check in call to talk about upcoming campaigns, briefs, deadlines, um, just feedback on previous campaigns and talk through stats. Um, she's based in Stockholm, so obviously at the moment I don't get to see her at all, um, like IRL. So it's always lovely every few weeks to have sort of like a face-to-face -face video chat check-in. Um, and then once that's done, I really should be going into the studio to get editing this week's vlog, otherwise there won't be a vlog. Um, so I'll head into the studio and I'll go via my favourite cafe to grab myself a drink and some lunch. This 
this is where I'm going to be for the rest of the afternoon. So I'll sign off here because it's literally just going to be me sat here editing videos, going through my emails and just general admin bits. Um, thank you so much for coming along today and I'll see you all soon.